When you go to the rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you, for I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, and your Savior. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I bring it to, the, to a close, I love preaching this as well. As I bring it to a closing, how many believe now that God can still do in a few hours a miracle in your life, or maybe you're interceding for someone, and he can do it for you. He can do it for you. David cried out in Psalms chapter 23, verse 5b, you anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over, meaning he is beyond blessed because of his relationship with the Lord. Not because of all the things that he had. David had everything. He didn't need nothing. As a matter of fact, some of the things him and his son would say, uh, I, I have everything. I've accomplished everything. And, and to want more is like grasping to the air, meaning you're not going to catch anything. What's most important, 2024, but right now, is your relationship with Christ. I don't know how many are in this room that need to rededicate their lives to the Lord. If there's anyone, I want to say this was not planned. This is the Holy Spirit. If you feel that you know Jesus, but you need to rededicate your life to the Lord, would you be bold enough to stand right now? I need to rededicate my life to the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To rededicate your life to the Lord is something. Thank you. To rededicate your life to the Lord is something beautiful. It's not something to be ashamed of. The Bible says that we all fall short before the glory of God. The Bible says that I agree that we're all backsliders, not just the ones that relapse. It says all of us, we, we backslide every day. It's in the Bible that I reset. But to make a recommitment to Christ is something beautiful. Listen to this. He cried out, you anoint my head with oil. Would you come up here? I, I want to close today. I want to anoint you with oil on your forehead if you would allow Jesus and I, Pastor Patrick, and Hawk to do that. I want you to make some lines. I want you to make some lines. Hawk, would you get Pastor Patrick, there's a bottle of oil here. Listen, I believe the word of God, and I believe when he anoints you through a prophet, through a preacher with oil, it means something, and it means something great. It, there, 